Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yokoso. Today we are at the Summer Sweet Potato Expo 2023 and if you've watched this channel for a while you know I absolutely love sweet potatoes. Anyway, if you like videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. I'm so excited. There are so many different food stalls here from all over Japan selling so many different types of sweet potato products, which is good. And I'm not surprised because Japan has 40 to 60 types of sweet potato, 40 to 60 different types of sweet potato, which is a lot. So obviously an expo like this exists, which makes me happy. So the first thing I got was a sweet potato. Obviously, that's the first thing you have to try here. It is huge and it is really cold. So I'm hoping this will be quite refreshing. Itadakimasu. That is so sweet and soft. This is actually from Nagano Prefecture and I love the logo. It has a bear on a sweet potato. It's so cute. Oh, this is delicious. So the type of potato is called silk sweet and I see why. It's silky, soft and sweet. It's delicious and I can't believe how good this tastes cold because usually you have a sweet potato hot but this is cold and it's delicious. choose which size you wanted so this is small size they also have medium size large size and they have a sweet potato tart there that looks incredible so in case you're curious the restaurant that serves this is called oimo biori and i really recommend this i actually thought they had added sugar or something to the potato to make it so sweet but no, this is its natural sweetness. It's unreal. This is huge. I know, it's massive. So this is a sweet potato sandwich. The cafe that this is from is in Gunma Prefecture. But the actual sweet potato is from Ibaraki. It apparently has mascarpone cheese in it as well. I am ready to dig into this. Let's open it up. This is heavy. I can't lie. This is really heavy. All right. I'm so nervous, I don't know why. Okay, here we go. I never could have guessed the mascarpone would taste so good with sweet potato, but it does. It's such a surprising combination. And as you can see, there is so much filling in here. It's crazy. The bread is lovely and soft as well. I don't know how to eat this. Mm. I think this is a great dessert because it's sweet, but not too sweet. It really relies on the natural sweetness of the sweet potato. And I guess the bread is a little sweet, but it's definitely the sweet potato in there that makes it kind of like a dessert. Wow. So the owner of the restaurant that makes the sandwich has offered us to try this sweet potato shake and apparently it's got no added sugar in it. Let's try this. Kanpai. That's amazing. Wow. It really tastes like creamy sweet potato and it's hard to believe there's no sugar in this because it is sweet. This is lovely. It's nice and cold as well. Ooh. Wow, I've never tried anything like it. I never thought sweet potato would taste good in a milkshake. I guess I was wrong, this is fabulous. Two very unique ways to enjoy sweet potato. So one of the reasons this tastes so good is because they're really strict about controlling the temperature of the sweet potato to make sure that it comes out perfect. 
It's so good. So the next thing we have here is sweet potato Mont Blanc ice cream. So on the top you have the sweet potato Mont Blanc style and at the bottom is sweet potato soft cream and again this is no added sugar. So the sweetness you're getting from this is natural and it's all coming from the sweet potato. So let's give it a go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, first of all, look at the layers. So that top layer of sweet potato is very thick. But also, my favorite thing is the sweet potato on the top isn't quite as cold as the ice cream on the bottom. So you get this contrast between the warm sweet potato and the soft serve, the temperature between the two. And I love it. It's so good. Wow. Mm. This is amazing. This might be one of the best types of ice cream I've ever had. I think it's really high up on the list for sure. Wow. Just the layers. Look how thick that layer of sweet potato is. That's exactly what you want when you're having like sweet potato ice cream or parfait. You want that thick layer. And there it is. Beautiful. Mm. Today, I've learned that I need to go to Gunma Prefecture and try all of the sweet potato items because this is incredible. I can't stop eating. This is bad. <laughs> I'm addicted. No. Mm. So I have here sweet potato shochu from Kirishima Shuzo and it looks so refreshing. So it's actually mixed with soda and it just looks so good. Kanpai. Wow, okay. First of all, I was right, super refreshing, but it's surprisingly strong. You can really taste the alcohol in this, which is quite dangerous. The actual name of this drink is Akane Kirishima, and it's really good. I'm gonna try some more though, hold on. Oh, that is nice. It has a really delicate flavor, but it's so refreshing. It's perfect for the summer. It's the best thing I could possibly drink today for summer. Oh, wow. Mm. I think this is easy for a lot of people to like because it hasn't got an overpowering strong flavor. It's really lovely. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm really curious to see how this is made. I really would love to see that one day. Also, I love that at a sweet potato expo, I'm able to find sweet potato based alcohol. I think that's magical, honestly, because I could never expect that. This is so good. <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna get drunk, but I can't stop drinking it. It is delicious. <laughs> So I got some doreaki from Teranuma in Ibaraki Prefecture. Well, they're based in Ibaraki Prefecture, but I got it here at the expo in Tokyo. So let's try it. This has to be the craziest doreaki I have ever seen. <laughs> I don't even know how to get my mouth onto this. It looks spectacular. So you can see there's the sweet potato paste at the bottom and at the top is the cream. And that is a double layer for sure. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna try and eat this. Please wish me luck. Okay. Mm, it's like ice cream. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be just cream, but that cream there is frozen. It's like ice cream. It's really delicious. I actually think that it tastes better cold like this. I think it's much easier to eat. Also, because it's frozen, the doreaki is able to maintain its structure because I think if that was just regular cream, I don't think you could hold it nicely. So that's, that's a positive for sure. As you can see, my mouth couldn't reach the top piece of pastry <laughs> because it's so big. But I'm gonna try some more, here we go. Mm. So 
this was 300 yen and it's well worth the price because when can you get to eat something like this? It's spectacular. The sweet potato, again, is the most powerful flavor in this, which rightly so, it should be at the Sweet Potato Expo. But I love it because it is not too sweet at all. This is actually very easy to eat, other than the fact that it's so big. <laughs> but who can complain about something being big? Come on, it's good. Well, that is it for today's video, you guys. I have honestly eaten so much and I really learned that you can have sweet potato so many different ways. It's truly incredible. Anyway, if you missed the festival this time around, don't worry because it will be back in Saitama in February. So make sure you check it out. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. What is your favorite way to eat sweet potato? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!